Many of you are aware of the massive fires that are happening right now out there, and so many people are breathing in a lot of smoke. I have family that's calling me, and they're saying, what do I do? How do I deal with this? So I got a couple of tips. One I'm gonna show you in a little bit with is water and a cloth. The other is immune system and antioxidant support. And I'll tell you why, because what's in the air is a massive trigger for a lot of people with chronic illness. So that's my main concern. People who are struggling with different health conditions, autoimmune, other types of health conditions, they can be triggered easier than other people. Overall, everybody should be concerned about breathing in too much smoke, but it's not just the smoke itself. Like if you had a fire pit going, or if you were breathing in some wood that was burning, the smoke has chemicals in it because they're using fire retardants to actually calm the fire down or try to die the fire out. So they're dumping a lot of chemicals on the fire. It becomes dust. Those particles float around and travel hundreds and hundreds, thousands of miles. So I just want to cover a few critical tips to start with right here. Glutathione, that's one right there. I endorse Vimergy. That's the products I use. It's the products I recommend my friends and family. Glutathione right there. Detoxification, you gotta remember that. Whenever you see glutathione, it's detoxification. So it helps the body naturally detoxify. And what happens is when you're breathing in smoke filled with chemicals and you're getting that inside your lungs, inside your body, it has to go somewhere. It can't just sit inside the body. We wanna get it out eventually. So that's glutathione right there. It also supports your immune system, glutathione as well. So that's the best one. I've ever seen right there because of Vimergy and the four things they do with their purity, which is incredible. Anyway, Micro C, so vitamin C, that's another one right there. The Vimergy Micro C is an incredible antioxidant too. So these are the ones I'm taking right now and I'm telling family and friends. So let's move on to another one. There's the propolis, which is immune system. Now, if you're wondering why immune system, like why is he talking about immune system? Because chemicals and smoke in the air lowers our immune system. It's a trigger. And when it triggers us and triggers our immune system, then we're open to other problems. And so many people have healed so many problems out there. And so many people have, they're struggling with their health. And so when we're dealing with triggers, we're dealing with possible avalanches with our health. So these are things that are critical. And this is what I'm telling friends and family. Propolis is another one. That's the immune system right there. Zinc, that's the immune system as well. B12, that's for your cells overall. And that's what your cells the thing is what happens with B12, it supports a lot of different parts of the body, like every part of the body. So when you're dealing with smoke inhalation, toxins in the air, it's also a critical thing too. So let's go into this part here. What you see is a bowl of water. Now, if you're going from your house to your car, a lot of people are traveling, a lot of people are on the road. They may not be able to get some things they need because the time of year. So what you're seeing right here is a quick, easy tip, which I really love. So what I'm doing here, so I just have a simple bowl of water. I have a cloth right here. Now this is a dish cloth, a dish towel. I'm squeezing out excess water, but I'm leaving the towel damp. Now, if you have to be outside for some reason in this smoke, you have to leave the house. You have to go from your house to your car. What you wanna do is take a, a damp cloth like this that you just squeeze the water out and you wanna make like a cup and you take your hands like this, see? And you give yourself enough space. You don't want it like this where your hands are just really close like that. You wanna give yourself enough space so there's air inside of here. So you have a gap and then you take that and you put this over your mouth like this over your face like this and you breathe and what you're doing is it's not about whoa that's not as good as a mask or is that is a mask better is it not that's not what this is about because you can't soak a mask so that's one thing right there they just it doesn't really work you have to take a cloth like this get it wet you know do this like i said before get it in there nice and 
you don't want it dry in one part. And that's a mistake that can happen where you only have it moist in one area, dry in another. You, you don't want to do it that way. You want to have the entire cloth wet. Not sopping wet where it's dripping all over you, but you want it wet. So I'm just going to squeeze it out a little bit more. There we go. You're trapping some of the smoke within it. But the key is you're trapping chemicals, dust particles, dust that's being dropped onto the fire. So the helicopters and the planes are dropping all that fire retardant onto the flames. And so that dust, those particles are what's in the air. It makes it more difficult for people to breathe. It gives people more complications. It's a bigger trigger. So if you're outside, if you have to travel, if you have to go to your car, this is a simple, easy way to do it. Now, don't get too wrapped up with what kind of cloth. If you have a dish towel, a washcloth, if you have anything like that, and you take it and you put it right up to your face and you make a really nice wide cup and you can breathe through that towel right there and you're breathing air and that air has all the dust particles, chemical particles, and it gets trapped easily within the moisture of the cloth. Now that's really effective. I'm not saying that is like the end all to what you're doing. Like that's gonna fix it all. You're still gonna get some smoke in there. You're still gonna get some particles in there. It's not something you wanna use and go up to a fire with, nothing like that. This is just a quick tip from dealing with running from your house to your car, dealing with being out there trapped in it. Maybe you're at a, a family event and you're outdoors, anything like that. And you can just you know get a dish towel or a washcloth and do that. It's helpful, it helps to, to minimize that smoke and those chemicals and the particles and the dust. And then once again, important critical supplements like the glutathione, which is a big one. So right now I'm telling family and friends, glutathione, that's a big one right there. And the micro C, the antioxidants, immune system, immune system, immune system, all the cells in your body. So, and if you can only get a few of these, if you only have an opportunity to get three of them, I would get the micro C, the glutathione, I would probably get those two and maybe the propolis, but all of them are important. And it's the quality of these, you guys know I endorse these guys for a reason, because it's the best stuff out there. I've talked about the four reasons why. There's nothing in these supplements that shouldn't be in there. And other supplements and supplement companies, they deal with, there's, a, there's always things in people's supplements that they don't know about. Because legally you're allowed to have a certain percentage of ingredients that you don't disclose to the actual consumer, Vimergy won't do that. It's actually the purest I can find out there. But anyway, you guys, just a couple of tips right here for so many of you that are dealing with this issue that's happening right now. I'm so sorry if you are dealing with this. I'm so sorry if you're actually in a place right now where the smoke is thick and it's in the air and you're having a hard time with it. My heart pours out. Um, to you truly because I know that this is a difficult situation and when our air gets poisoned and problematic that is really hard for so many people and it's a trigger and I want to support in any way possible just know I care about you guys hang in there if you're going through any of this and bye